guys, welcome back to another ghost adventure. My name's Carly Pierce, and I'm with my mom, Stacy Pierce, and my sister, Hannah Pierce. This time we're heading down to the Crescent Hotel. It's supposed to be one of the most haunted hotels in America, so we'll see how it goes. So I just got this spirit box in the mail, and it is supposed to use radio frequencies to communicate for ghosts. But inside the box, and we bought it off of eBay, they also sent the Independent Faux Gospel by Pastor Mark. Now, I don't know if the last person that used this thought that you needed to listen to a gospel after you use the box, or what their experience with the box is, but I'm thinking this isn't that good of a sign and we're not off to a good start. So, you know, there's that. Crescent Hotel. We're in room 202. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be smarter than the light fixture here. Oh no, I don't want the fan on. 
There's like 800 the buttons on this light switch, dude. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Little rocking chairs. Yeah. It does. Like, if you look down, and this bar is so low, like, I'm a short person, and it's like, like, it makes you feel like kind of. But it's really beautiful out here. A little. I don't like this rocking chair. It gives me bad vibes. You're like, and this is no good. So here's the room. It's very dark in here, so we'll get some lights going. That's the only light. And that's the only light, and it's not very good. Wait, there's another light. Pretty sure the light goes back to the time the hotel was built. <laughs> Got a nice creepy mirror. And here's the bedroom. window. Why is it all foggy? It's probably just dirty. How do you think they get on the outside of the building to clean this? <laughs> it is a long way up. I know. So we're gonna go walk around the property a little bit and check it out and see if there's anything cool and just get a general idea of what it's like. We're all here just roaming the halls of the Crescent Hotel. We'll just let you know if we see anything. We go down these stairs. That's gross. I think they're doing like a tour up there. This room right here, 218, is the room that Michael allegedly wants. Take a selfie on this mirror at the end. Yeah. Every time, that's what the boys say. At every haunted hotel, there's mirrors at the end of the hall. That's weird. It's a fun house here. Crescent Hotel selfie. Carly, I need you to stop. <laughs> no? No. Not good? No. <laughs> okay. There's like a bunch of just like ladders everywhere. This is the 
this mining bug life for me. What? Yeah, it looks like hair. It's like it looks the white. I don't know. Well, let's go see, guys. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I'll go first, but the path isn't that wide, and you're kind of taking up the trail. <laughs> so, uh, you know. Right up there on the third floor where that terrace is, is our hotel room. Because when we were looking at it from up above, we could see this hot tub over here. So that's our hotel room up there. Yeah, they are. There's gray. I bet. There's gray. <laughs> You're like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Awesome. But it is like, that bell. Yeah. That's not cool. <laughs> that is kind of a creepy bell. What is this? It's the pit of doom. It is a pit of doom. A pit of doom right there. <laughs> oh, that's not cool. When you cool. casually I'm walk down, here's your desk. Sure, hang on. Man, that bell just keeps going, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> I got scared. By the fountain? <laughs> you got scared of the fountain? <laughs> in this church that the bell is. I mean, maybe not, but it kind of makes sense. I... Yeah, I wondered. I've always heard about people getting married in uh, here in spring. The red windows are kind of creepy. Right? That's creepy. Why is it just red? That is very beautiful. That is very pretty. It's small steps to big steps. I know, right? It's kind of like really hard to walk up because one step is super long and the other step isn't. Hey, Cam, let's go. Talk then over. I'm 
still out of breath. This bench right here is where supposedly the little boy sits. And there's been pictures with affirmations of the little boy right here on the second floor. Some ghost tours going on up the stairs. that he was an alpha man. Yeah, I think this is actually a picture of Norman Baker himself. He was the guy who ran the hospital that wasn't, wasn't really a hospital. This is a real ad from back when the Baker Hospital was around. What's up guys? <laughs> we're here at Crescent Hotel and we're going to be trying to get in contact with some of the spirits that reside here tonight. The Crescent Hotel has a really, really rich backstory and here's some of the information that I found. So in 1886, the Crescent Hotel was opened and it was a really luxury hotel at the time. And then from 1908 to 1924, the building was used as the Crescent College and Conservancy for Young Women. It continued to be a resort in the summer, but it was a college during the year. The Women's College closed its doors after 16 years, and it sat abandoned for six years. Eventually, it became a junior college from 1930 to 1934. But in 1937, a man named Norman Baker arrived who would give this building a much more gruesome story. He turned the hotel into Baker's Hospital, where he offered miracle cures for cancer, claiming that everyone would leave cancer-free. What the hundreds of people didn't know as they were flocking to get this magical cure is that it was all a scam. The man had no medical training and had been convicted in Iowa just a year before opening the hospital for illegally practicing medicine. Many patients died suffering here while under his care. So many died that he had to open a morgue, his own morgue, in the basement of the building. Yeah. It 
after they did the investigation on him a little bit, they found out that he made almost four million dollars off of patients. And being back in 1937, that's, that's a, lot a lot of money. money. Yeah. A lot of money out of, you know, suffering people that are just hoping for something to make a difference. So the building sat empty after that from 1940 to 1946, and then some men from Chicago bought the building and wanted to restore it back into a hotel. But in 1967, the building caught fire and it destroyed a lot of the fourth floor south wing. After the fire, the building got bought and sold many times before landing at the current owner. There are many spirits that people have seen on the property, but the most active ones that are here is Michael. He was a stonemason who helped build the hotel. During construction, he was in the upper regions of the structure and fell to his death landing in room 218. The girl in the mist, supposedly she fell, jumped, or was pushed to her death falling from the third floor balcony, and rumors say that she was pregnant when she fell. There's the little boy who died on the property from his appendix rupturing and is said to roam the halls. There's a demon who is said to roam the property and reside in the morgue, and Norman Baker himself is said to still roam the grounds. So it could be really interesting. Yeah, it sure. sounds like there's been a lot of sightings here, and yeah, hopefully we see something.